Plants vs Zombies 2019. Is this going to be the year where we get some brand new games or are we just going to be stuck with updates? Justin Weeb has already tweeted that 2019 is going to be a great year and it is also the 10th anniversary of Plants vs Zombies later this year in May. So the big question is are we going to be getting some new games this year or are we not? <laughs> So what is going on guys, my name is Zero and welcome to the first Big Plants vs Zombies video in 2019. Today I'm going to be discussing whether or not I believe we are going to be getting any new games this year. Of course, if we are, they're probably going to be announced at EA Play, which is going to be later this year in June. However, we do have the Plants vs Zombies birthday coming up, and that is going to be a brilliant time to announce some brand new games. Now, I am going to be taking a look at the past Plants vs Zombies games as well. There's some other information which we're going to be talking about in today's video. And although this whole video is not based on facts, and this is my opinion, we're going to be breaking things down, and then I want you guys to leave me your opinion in the comment section down below. So first of all, we are going to take a look at the 10th anniversary for Plants vs Zombies. If you did not know, Plants vs Zombies was first released on the 5th of May 2009. So come the 5th of May 2019, the game has been released for 10 years. That's pretty special and right there is something that hopefully is going to be celebrated. I'm not expecting anything to be announced on the Plants vs Zombies birthday. I feel like it's probably better to announce things at EA Play and things like that. However, on May the 5th, 2015, which was Plants vs Zombies 6th birthday, they did actually reveal that a new Plants vs Zombies game was going to be released in the first quarter of 2016, which of course turned out to be Garden Warfare 2. Are we going to get something similar this year, where we're not going to find out what game it is, but we're going to find out a kind of time frame of when a game's going to be released, that is going to be pretty interesting. And just to add a couple more things to the discussion, Plants vs Zombies tweeted saying, Happy 2019, looks like the zombies have some big plans for this year. What do you think Zomboss's next steps is going to be? Although this tweet is referencing the Plants vs Zombies comics, I did find it interesting that Plants vs Zombies said that zombies have big plans this year. And just to back that up, Justin Weave, the creative director of Garden Warfare, who is still working for Plants vs Zombies, said Happy New Year, 2019 is going to be a great year. Putting those two together, does that mean that there is going to be something coming game related as far as Plants vs Zombies goes? I guess we're going to have to wait and see. The next topic which I do want to discuss is that recently we've been getting updates for Plants vs Zombies 2 and for Garden Warfare 2. Which does seem a little bit weird considering we haven't had an update in Garden Warfare 2 for two years. And we haven't had an update in Plants vs Zombies 2 for maybe like a year or a year and a half. So why has there been a huge time gap between the last update to then getting updates now? My guess is that the games they're working on are not ready yet, so they wanted to do a couple more updates to keep people interested, to keep people playing the games, ready for when these new games are going to be released. We already know from the Plants vs Zombies job roles that there is another AAA third person shooter game in development. We don't know if it's going to be another Garden Warfare, we have no idea. However, the job roles that have been going do indicate that a AAA third person shooter console game is in development. As far as Plants vs Zombies 2 goes, I'm guessing the best guess is that it's going to be a Plants vs Zombies 3 in a similar style to PvZ2 where it's kind of like a tower defense style game. That's my guess. Third person shooters though, the only thing I can guess for that as well is going to be a Garden Warfare 3. So Plants vs Zombies have been pretty quiet for the last couple of years. You know, we haven't had any updates until recently for Garden Warfare 2. There was a long period of time where Plants vs Zombies 2 didn't get any updates either. And the last game that was released was Plants vs Zombies Heroes on the 18th of October 2016. And even that game hasn't had any new packs or any new cards added for the last year. So the updates and the games have been very, very very slow. I'm sure it didn't help when the Seattle team did decide to downsize their team and focus more on the core projects. We did lose a great bunch of people that have been working on these games for a long, long time. Roland, being one of the iconic members of the community, was let go, but uh, hopefully he's doing okay working at Warframe. If you're watching this video, Roland, we miss you. We hope you're doing okay. I do want to briefly mention that only the team based in Seattle was affected. So the team based in Vancouver, which is the main team that works on the console games, they were were not affected. But going back to the point I wanted to talk about, it has been a long time until recently that we've had updates for these games, and the last official game release, which was Plants vs Zombies Heroes, it's been over 
two years since that game was released. So for over two years, we haven't had any Plants vs. Zombies game released at all, which hopefully means that whatever games they're working on have been in development for a while and are going to be amazing games. I'm hoping that's the case and it's not that whatever games they're working on got cancelled, so they had to start again and they've only had a few years to be able to develop it. But what do you guys think? Do you think we're going to get some kind of announcement this year on the Plants vs. Zombies birthday? Do you think they're going to wait until EA Play? Do you think we may even get a game released this year? Or do you think we're going to have to wait until 2020 or even further? Let me know in the comment section down below. I also want to mention that we now have channel memberships on the channel. So if you guys do want to go that extra mile and support me a little bit more, below the video there should be a join button that you guys can click. I really do appreciate any support. So if any of you guys do want to do that, it is greatly appreciated. Also, a big thank you to all the names you can see on screen right now. These are my Twitch subscribers and my first channel member, which is Bobox999. So thank you all for supporting me. Hopefully you did enjoy today's video and I will see all of your faces tomorrow.